Hello traders, it's Wednesday, September the 6th. This is John Kicklider, Chief Strategist for DailyFX.com. I wanted to do a quick take video on an unusual currency cross, one that I don't really talk about a lot unless it's in the context of what it says about the global financial system and two of the uh, economic powerhouses of the world. More of a fundamental gauge or barometer rather than a trading opportunity, but there might be something here. Uh, and of course, this pair is the USDCNH. This is the dollar offshore renminbi or Chinese yuan. Uh, we usually consider it the yuan, uh, but there is a difference between CNH and CNY. This is the offshore version that is tradable. So what we see here is has been a precipitous uh, acceleration to the downside for uh, the Chinese yuan. Now, what is remarkable is the momentum behind this move. If you see the consecutive bar count until we had the uh, rebound through this past session Tuesday, this was a consistent 14 day tumble for this exchange rate. And the CNH or the offshore ribbon B has not been around that long, so we only go back to about 2012. Uh, so that is unprecedented. Obviously, you can also look to the CN, uh, CNY, but it's not exactly the same thing. The consistency and the momentum here are just pr uh, remarkable. We haven't seen uh, this kind of uh, acceleration to the downside since this exchange rate started as well. Now, what is remarkable here, and where there might be some opportunity, is this has been a rapid appreciation, which actually the Chinese authorities probably like a general appreciation, but not rapid. They like an appreciation because it, uh, it calms concerns that there is a capital flight from China. Furthermore, it, it uh, certainly cools the uh, pressure uh, of labeling China a currency manipulator from many of its trade partners. It, it probably doesn't quiet them, but at least takes away a lot of the easy, low-hanging fruit to label them as such. So they definitely uh, see a silver lining in this. But this has been very rapid. Uh, this has been a very one-sided move. And yes, at this uh, pay rate of change, it will have an impact on exports. Now, where the opportunity comes in is not because of the technicals. It doesn't come from the fundamentals. I've seen a lot of arguments about the Chinese yuan being a safe haven with the escalation of North Korea and a lot of North Korea's uh, focus being on the United States, uh, rendering it less of an appealing safe haven, the dollar that is. I think that that's really a reach. Uh, a lot of this is genuinely a reflection of what the Chinese authorities simply will it to be or allow it to be, there is a considerable amount of, uh, of control that the PBOC, the SAFE have on this exchange rate. And there is also going to be a limit to how much they're going to, they're going to want to see. They are going to want to see a certain degree of stability, especially considering that in uh, about a month's time, a little over a month's time on October the 18th, they start the uh, five-year uh, congressional summit that they do in order to realign their expectations, their course as a government. Uh, and they're going to want to encourage stability in markets, stability in economy, and stability in exchange rate going into that meeting. That means that they're probably going to cap the rapid advance from the Chinese yuan. Now, there is a pro and there are certain uh, stipulations here. They can't offset an impact of an absolute uh, panic from a financial system and seeking out safety. You can't uh, absorb an entire market. You can try to capital control it, but uh, that can draw its own massive problems, including condemnation of being a manipulator. You also have to consider that we've seen such efforts to fight the market in the past, and they have failed spectacularly. Uh, of course, the one that uh, really stands out in, in my mind is a weekly chart of the Euro-Swiss. The failure of the Swiss National Bank to maintain a floor on Euro-Swiss. Now, the Chinese authority is not attempting to hold a specific level, but if they're trying to fight a market uh, that can simply overwhelm them. Uh, really, their options are just completely cutting off the market and, and setting themselves back by a, a decade in terms of financial liberalization, uh, which really is what they need to establish themselves as a superpower, a financial and economic superpower. So this being said, 
uh, I do think that this uh, has been a one-sided, very aggressive move and likely to correct. But don't operate under normal technical and fundamental assumptions because this is not your standard currency cross. If you're going to trade this, you have to be, have a healthy appreciation and uh, of uh, what drives it, motivates it, and can, and can manipulate it. Uh, and furthermore, you have to have a strategy that's very adaptive to that. All right, so take a look at this pair. Uh, even if you don't trade it, it is a very good measure of the uh, primary superpowers in the economic world and how their exchange rate is performing. We'll wrap it up here. We'll do another uh, quick takes video tomorrow. Until then, I wish you good luck trading out there.